Previously on Jumping Into Fuse. And now, part two of Jumping Into Fuse. I always never understood how people could stand so close when they breach things. Right, let's pull this switch, don't know what it does. We keep getting points, I guess that's experience. Alright, let's move. Alright. Oh no, you don't. This guy just stands still while. I oh, there we go. I don't know if there's a reload button. I'm not seeing the. Okay, let's climb this ladder and move on. Wow, even holding A, Rhodey runs too, just like in Gears of War. What is this guy? Where'd that guy threw the grenade! Alright, we're gonna switch to uh, the main guy now just to. I wanna see how to activate his. Whoa, what the fuck? This is weird. Oh, so I guess it reflects things back at these people. Does it have like a. Uh, a limit to how much it can. Okay, I don't know what the fuck's happening around me, but it looks like uh, we can hold that shield and it'll Everyone absorb things. And then you can do like a shockwave out. I've never seen a gun like that, uh, just because I think it looks incredibly stupid when you use it. However, that's really cool. It's not something we've seen before. But yeah, holding A, roadie runs, you go into cover, you shoot just like Mass Effect. Uh, this, th this game definitely borrows a lot. Is that just an XP can't container? Okay. Alright, what was our mission thing? There it is. Looks like we have different weapons. What do we got? We got a mag shield, we got whatever this thing is. Alright, what are you guys looking at? I guess we're supposed to go up this pole? Yes, we are. In here? Mm hmm. Okay, moving on. So, I don't know if I finished my point, but what I was saying was, uh,. Maybe this is like a horror element, has a horror element to it. I guarantee you're going to end up fighting aliens um, eventually. So, I don't know, aliens are always cool in terms of video games. Some many games will like to congratulate you on discovering Rift in space time. You will now be deposited 15 minutes in the future. Don't worry, skinny jeans will still fit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys realize, but what they're saying is basically that... um. They want to show you a different element of this uh, demo, so they're going to speed up the time. A lot of the times, demos of games usually start you out somewhere near the middle, like near more action-heavy sequence. So I'm guessing what this is what it is. So this has nothing to do with uh, what we were doing. What did I say? Oh, I don't know if that's an alien, actually. I was going to say, yeah, that's probably not an alien. Looks like we have a burst gun here that's not doing shit to this guy. Oh, there's another one. Okay, um... No, X is the reload button. Okay. Maybe he has a weak spot. I'm guessing it's the canister in the back. Looks like it's working, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know I've been saying it a hundred times, but seriously, this game feels a lot like Mass Effect. Uh, like, this guy right here, it feels a lot like I'm fighting an Atlas. You know, one of those giant mechs. You have to target them in specific spots. Shit! Oh god! This guy would be dead in a heartbeat. He doesn't even have any flame retardant stuff on him. Right. I wonder if switching to people while you're about to die actually helps you out. We're going to try and revive this girl. Even though she's useless right now. Oh god, no! Come on, revive. I'm surprised they only let you play on normal difficulty. Jesus Christ, this dude with the fire. Was he invisible now, or did he teleport? Looks like he teleported. Alright, we're gonna focus fire on this yellow guy. What other weapons do we have? It looks like she has a shotgun. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Prowler? I guess that's what the shotgun's called. Oh, 
roll with A to put out flames. Oh, cool. So once you're on fire, you can roll. In fact, I don't know if this game feels more like Gears of War or uh, or Mass Effect because the rolling aspects are very Gears of War. I'm, I'm forgetting how Mass Effect plays because it's been forever. Uh, I know there's a whole cover mechanic and all that good stuff. Okay, does the black guy have the... Where's the black guy? I guess he's not in this part of the game. Come on, you bitch. I'm using a shotgun on you. One game I want to end up playing on my channel, you know, either now or in the future, is uh, Lost Odyssey. I don't know if you guys know what that game is, but it's the closest thing you're going to get to a Final Fantasy game other than Final Fantasy on uh, Xbox 360. And it's just an amazing game that was so underrated and, you know, like, it's a travesty that it, it wasn't popular. I like that game a lot. And uh, I don't know if you guys are interested in RPGs or whatnot, but that game has an excellent story. Oh, what the, they got these little fucking turrets. Alright, I guess I should be focusing on the task at hand here if you're talking about other bullshit. Come on. These guys are taking a lot of damage. I hope I'm shooting them in the weak spot. We're going to try and take out the red guy first because he's uh, pretty low on health. Please tell me you're dead. Yes. Oh, and him blowing up fucked this guy up too. Is he dead? Yes, he is. We did it. Alright, let's do it. Whoa. Whoa. Black guy was here. Why couldn't I switch to him? I guess he was down. Okay. Got another switch here. Hold to hack. Is this going to be like a mini game? Nope. I hate when they do mini games with like hacking type stuff. What's left of them anyway? Uh oh. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling an alien vibe. Does anyone see him? See who? No, no, I don't see Luther anywhere. He's gotta still be alive. So I guess we're looking for this black guy's father. All right, let's go ahead and get to the alien section because I know it's coming. I know it's coming. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Is that it? Oh, well, they're not scared of saying that word in this game, that's for sure. These guys remind me of, like, the Crisis guys. Solar Burst. So it looks like you get, like, bonuses in terms of experience for each type of weapon you use, because I'm assuming Solar Burst means, like... You know, blowing people up with this little thing. How this weapon works, I don't know if you guys have noticed, um, is like you can shoot a guy and then hit RB and it'll explode it. It's like, you're, so you're shooting grenades but you can explode them at will. So if I shoot this guy, I guess if you kill them in one hit it doesn't matter. Alright, is that everybody? Is in the open and we need air support. How the hell can it be in the open? Do I need to remind you what's at stake here? We can still contain this, but we'll have to do it by air. Send in that helo. It's en route. Rendezvous at the extraction point and get after that plane. Get to the evac location, which is over here. Okay. I'm charging them up. I wonder how long this demo is. It's kind of hard to uh, guess because, you know, demos can vary in length. I've seen some demos that are literally so short, I don't even know what's the point. Oh, God! Wow, we're level 14 already. Alright, let's 
continue on. Come on, move! We can't lose him! You should have let me execute the bastard back at Hyperion. Oh, so this is my fault? Oh, you guys, come on. You gotta be a team. What do we got here? We got some whatever. Alright. Let's pry this door open. Let's do it. What are they fighting? It looks like they're... Oh, okay, so we're getting some air support with that helicopter, it looks like. You know, it's like a game rule, like, squads in, in video games never get air support when they need it, you know? Especially Call of Duty. Alright, I'm assuming this demo is going to end right about here when you get on the helicopter and they're gonna flash forward maybe to some type of alien. I swear to God, I'm still holding out that there's gonna be an alien or something. Come on. Come on. Alien! I'm not sure, it might be these weird humans, but... That definitely looked like an alien ship, didn't it? When you've been in this line of work as long as I have, you learn to depend on certain rules. Rule number one: don't trust anyone. Hey, hey, can, you, can you see me? Who are you, Marines? Rule number two: if someone gets in between you and your mission, pink slip. Don't. Are you doing taking away their leverage? You can't kill a senator. Why not? I didn't vote for him. <laughs> Rule number three. Hey guys, that's the guy that's uh, a loose cannon. Ever. Stick your beak where it doesn't belong. Oops. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know what to make about this game. It, it does seem fun, but at the same time, it's I think it's going to be one of those games where a lot of the scenery and everything is going to be very similar. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I'm pleasantly surprised, however. It does seem like a fun game. Uh, definitely, you know, more well done than the usual type of games that I play demos for. Um, very similar to Mass Effect. Very similar to Gears of War in how they feel. Looks like it has some space elements. Don't know. I guess there's no aliens. Oh, really? Going to end it with that? Pre-order now and get exclusive team extras, upgrade uniforms, customized weapons, increased damage. Blah blah blah. Is that it? Um. Yeah. Okay, there we go, guys. That was the Fuse demo. Um, you can get this on the Xbox 360 Arcade. You can download it for free. Uh, like I said, you know, pleasantly surprised at the same time. I don't know. Might not be that great, but it has some sci-fi stuff. has some cool weapons into it. You know, if you want to check it out, be my guest. Other than that, my name is Grovana. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.